Hey YouTube, this is Brian. Uh, I wanted to show you my pics from this weekend, uh, actually from yesterday, uh, Saturday, March 30th, 2012. Um, it was a little bit of a disappointing day uh, because I took off to what I thought were a couple neighborhood sales at the beginning of the day and they turned out to uh, only have one house in the neighborhood having a sale, so I kind of hate that, but that's okay. Uh, I ended up uh, getting a few uh, good items, so let me show you what I got. First off, well, I'll start in order. First uh, place I actually bought anything from, uh, people had a bunch of DVDs, and so I picked up the Star Wars trilogy. Uh, right here, it's the original trilogy. I sold this before for $30, and so when I looked it up, uh, it's pretty much what it's still selling for. I bought it because the discs were perfect. No scratches, didn't look like it really even been used. Uh, the box had some nicks and stuff on it. Uh, I ended up paying $5 for that. And they threw in the Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> so I ended up to pay $2. I paid $5 for both of them. So I should get uh, at least $30 for Star Wars Trilogy. Uh, next sale I went to was... Um, Actually, not in a very good area, but I ended up picking up a giant lot of CDs. Actually, the the cases on these are, are pretty bad. I'm probably just going to sell these without the cases because they look like they have dirt and crud and stuff all over them. But when I looked through the CDs, they are actually really, really nice. Like, they hardly even had any scratches. Most of them didn't have any scratches at all. So they're really well taken care of. What I do is I, you know, I'll take these out of the cases um, sell them as a lot. I may divide them up a little bit, but usually the ones that I sell without cases, uh, I just throw in as a big giant lot. There's a lot of hip hop in here and some rock, um, so I'm not sh quite sure how I'm going to do that one, but I should get uh, about $30 for this uh, amount here, and I paid $20. Uh, and the reason I paid $20 is because I also threw in a copy of Microsoft Office 2007, and this will sell anywhere between uh, probably $50 and $60. So uh, the last one I sold sold for sixty-two dollars. So I don't know. I'll probably start it at fifty and see where it goes. So altogether, pretty good. I should get about eighty dollars, or I mean about probably ninety dollars for all that, and I paid twenty. Um, next up, went to another sale. And by the way, I got this. Uh, I never really bought CDs before, uh, especially in big lots. But I watched uh, a couple Urban Diggers, I think, uh, where you know they'll go up and just say, "Hey, how much is the whole box?" And uh, they, they buy them. I don't know if they do Amazon or eBay or how they do those, but basically what I think I'm going to do is lot them into uh, different genres. So this like this box over here is all country. You know, I'll sell those together. A lot of this is um, kind of a mix of, you know, two or three of one person. There's like you know, a few Whitney Houstons in here. I'll probably lot together some old, you know, rock and roll, lot together, or so on, so on, you know. So anyway, I paid $15 for 60 CDs here. And I should get about a hundred. Okay, uh, another sale here. I got this whole, I don't know how many there are, a lot of old 45s. I paid five dollars for all of them. And I am i don't know if I'm going to separate these so much because there weren't a whole lot that were the same. Uh, there, are, there are some rock and roll in here and then there's some other stuff. There's another Whitney Houston. Throw those in together. And there's a lot of these that came with these green things. Uh, it's Diana Ross, it's more David Lee Roth, okay, so I don't know. I may just throw them on there as a big lot and see, maybe start it at 20 bucks and try to make a little money. Okay, uh, last sale I really got anything at was this one. So I paid $20 for all these items, uh, so let me show you what I got. First of all, uh, this was actually, um, let's see, Cisco... Uh, Cisco Systems picks 506E Firewall. Uh, this should sell for anywhere there. They sold for completed listings anywhere between $20 and $60. So I'll look to get maybe $40. This was actually just a 50 cent throw in. Uh, I plugged it in, it powered on. So I bought it. Don't know if it works, but I'll list it like that. Uh, paid a little bit too much for this bag of palm stuff. It was $5. And it would have probably been good. I thought I had the power cord with it, but it didn't. Uh, it did have a power cord for this one, but then that one doesn't have a stylus. So, and then it had the software, and then it had this other palm thrown in, but I don't think it has a stylus either. So, you know, I don't know. I may not even be able to get anything for that, so it may be like $5 lost. Uh, this book ended up getting thrown in the pile, so I probably paid $2 for it. 
Uh, let's see, it is the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company Telegraphic Cipher Code. Uh, I thought maybe it was one of those old electrical code books I'd seen some of you guys with, but it doesn't look like it. It's got tape, you know, for the binding, so it may not be worth anything. It did say it's from May 14th, 1927, so we'll see. Hopefully, they will just start it at 999 and see what happens. Okay, last thing I got here, uh, reel-to-reel -reel player. This was thrown in with the $20. Uh, I had good luck with the last reel-to-reel -reel player I found. It looks like it was a little bit higher or better quality than this one. It was an Akai. This is a Sony. It came with this whole lot of reel-to-reels with it, but they're all just recordings of uh, some type of religious recordings. This, um, the speakers actually come with this one. So try to undo the latches here. I got the speakers. I got one speaker to work with it. I actually got both of them to work with it, but only one of them works at a time. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. So the speakers actually come off. It was like a, this was like a portable model. Um, I know it's upside down, but you guys get the idea. It's got the stuff there. Um, and then the, the microphones on the back. And, um, uh, and you plug the speakers in on the sides or whatever. But anyway, it looked kind of interesting, and uh, I thought maybe it was worth a little more than it is. I may, I'll probably get about $50 for this one, maybe a little more, but I'm not sure if I want to do this on eBay or do a Craigslist or what. This, this little booger's heavy. So we'll see. So altogether, I spent, we'll see, 20 25 30 um, and then more, 20 more, so it's 50, and then 65, so I spent $65 on everything. I'd probably like to get between 250 and 300, so nothing like super crazy, but you know, enough to, uh, keep adding to my stash of cash. So, anyway, I got, uh, if you want to check out my listings this week, I have my trucks I got all cleaned up that I bought a couple weeks ago, I got those all listed today. I uh, spent a while cleaning those up, researching, doing all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to check those out, it's C-H-L-B-R-Y-A-N. And you guys can check out, see what those sell for. I, I started them today and I did 10-day auctions because I know a lot of people on spring break. So 10 days will be, you know, when everybody's back and back to work and back home and everything. So hopefully that'll increase the bid. I put them on late this afternoon and I think five of them, four or five of them already have bids for $10 starting bid. So... I pretty much already made my money back, so I'm excited to see what they go for. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will hear from you guys soon, hopefully.